Hey, what's going on my fellow graphic designers? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a really cool logo. This is for nothing specific, it's just how to make a cool logo. But the size I'm gonna be using is gonna be a Discord logo. So if you're trying to make a Discord logo, this is perfect for you. But you can use this for YouTube, Twitch, whatever you want. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so once you're at photopea.com, go ahead and click on new project. And for the size, I'm gonna be using 512 by 512. Um, that's the Discord size for logos. There's 800 by 800, which is YouTube, and all the other stuff you gotta look up if you want the right size. So I'm just gonna be doing this for now. So let's go ahead and hit create. And the first thing I'm gonna do is double click on my background layer. I'm gonna go to pattern overlay, and I'm gonna click in this box and choose this one, and leave everything else the same, and hit OK. So we're already done with the background. Now we just have to make the logo itself. As you can see on my screen, I have these rulers up here. You probably don't, so I'll show you how to get those right now. Go up to view and click on rulers and they should pop up. This is very important for aligning things in the center. So let's go ahead and put that in the center right here. And you'll see what we're gonna do with it soon. So let's go ahead and get our pen tool, change the fill up here to white and make sure it's on the shape setting. And what we're gonna do is just click right somewhere over here this is for this logo it can be different for yours i wouldn't recommend copying this because who knows how many other people are going to copy it and then you're going to have an unoriginal logo but i just came up with this and i think it looks pretty cool so you just want to make a shape on this side and basically what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate it and then flip it to this side when we're done so it's 100 percent symmetrical and that's what we're going to do so we got this first little part here. I'm gonna go over here, left click, and I'm just gonna go up to about here maybe, and then hold shift for straight lines, and then I'm gonna go up. Yeah, something like this. It's kind of hard to get it right, but like that. Now, it's a little bit different than the one in my picture, so I'm gonna redo it. It's a little too high up at that part. Like that, it's more like that, yeah, and then it goes up high. Yeah, it's more like that. Okay, so there's the shape. So it looks pretty cool. Now that we got that, now all we have to do is just hold control or shift, select all the shapes we just made and convert it to a smart object. Now duplicate it, hit control alt T to free transform it, right click in the box and click flip horizontally. Now use your arrow key to move it to the right. And we can go ahead and get rid of this ruler for a second. So let's just move it so we can align it perfectly. Okay. I'm just going to push it in a little bit more until I'm happy with what it looks like. Let's see. I'd say about there. So now you could just hold control, click on both of them, convert it to a smart object again, and just center align it like that. Let's bring this back. Okay, now what we're gonna do is get our pen tool again. This time we're gonna go up to fill and change it to like a darker gray. Well, actually a light gray. And we're gonna click down here, click here, click here, click here, and then connect back. Right click on it and make it a clipping mask like that. Now we can do is hit control J on that layer to duplicate it and then click control alt T to free transform it. Right click in the box, flip horizontally and use your arrow key and shift if you want it to go super fast to move it to the other side. So you can see what we're doing here and it's looking pretty good. We're going to add one more down here. So just hold shift if you want to make a straight line. Let's make this a clipping mask as well. Move it to the top. 
There we go. Now we can hold shift, click on all of them, convert it to a smart object again. And there we go. So I don't even know what it's supposed to be, but it looks like a logo. So I went with it. And what we're going to do for the background is we're just going to add a exposure layer above it and just turn it down where it's a little bit darker. And then we're going to add a curves layer above the shape. So go to this half circle, it's the adjustments thing and go up to curves. And we're just going to go up on this line and down on this line. I might adjust this a little bit more, turn that to zero. It's got to be pretty dark behind it. So yeah, let's turn it up a little bit more and then I'll show you what we're going to do. So these are the settings. Double click on your background layer, go to gradient overlay, change the style to radial, click reverse. And now you can see it's like a spotlight, adjust the scale to make the spotlight a little bit bigger. We're making a vignette. I changed the blend mode to multiply. And yeah, you can adjust it when you can see it. Now you get the idea and the exposure up a little bit more. And yeah, there's our logo. Looking pretty cool. I don't know what it is, but you're not supposed to copy this anyways. It's just for you to make your own using the pen tool. And I think it looks pretty cool. It's kind of hard to come up with the idea, but I just started making shapes and it worked. So yeah, it's completely up to you guys what you want to do. And that's all I got for you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. I make a lot of other content like this. Check out my gaming channel. I'm going to start uploading some VR videos on there. So I'd appreciate it a ton if you checked it out and subscribed to that as well. But you don't have to. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.